So uh, today again we are practicing binary five question. So note down the question first. Write a user defined function. Write a user defined function. Add report. The function name is add report. To input the data. Online class, please note down the question carefully. To input the data for a report, and add to, and add to, store dot that. The file name is store dot that. Okay. This is A part of the question. Now the B part of the question. This was the A part. Now B part of the question. Write a function counter R. Write a function count R. This is count R function. And inside this function, I have passed the variable s as parameter. Inside this function, I have passed s variable as parameter, which accepts which accepts the supplier name as parameter. The supplier name. As parameter and return the quantity and return the quantity of the items. By the given supplier in the binary file. Online class, how many have noted down the question? Raise your thumb. All those who have noted down the question in the online class, please raise your thumb. Only some little thumb is up. Only one child has noted. All right, let us start the coding now. What we have to do is we have to make two functions, right? My first function is first of all import people. First of all, you want to import the people module. Okay. Create a function add report DEF. And name of the function add report. On my class, am I clearly on my call? Nandini, Anshika, Vinisha. Am I on my call? What else, Sanjita, Nandini? Am I on my today? You know, you can pass. All right. Now here I have created a function def add for inside this function I will create my file I 
Make one change here. Change this name to supplier name. Change this field to supplier name. Okay. Now these are the three fields which we have inputted to store into our file. Okay. Now we have to create a sequence. Our sequence is list. Square bracket. Item number. Supplier name. Okay, this is the sequence. Now you are to write the sequence in binary file. So how to write? You will take this function, dump function. Pick up this list and store it into the file. Pick up the sequence. This is the sequence. And store this sequence, write this sequence into your file using file handle F. Now, here you can ask the user whether you want to enter more chords or not.
right? And close this loop. Is it clear? Yes, online class up to here. Everything is clear. Add the call function is totally clear to all of you. Nandini. Bhavani, Sukhmani, Shahza, Udit, Malik. Okay, now we are to make second function bound R. Okay, I'm rubbing this. My next function is found R and inside this function I have passed supplier name as parameter. Inside this function I have passed supplier name as parameter. Okay. Now here, open your file for reading. Since you want to read the records, so I will be taking the RB mode, read from binary. Reading from binary. Am I clear to all? Take a variable form, initialize it with zero. Found variable will be set to zero. Here zero means false. Zero means false. If record is not available, found will remain zero. But if record is found, found, uh, found will be updated to one. One means true. Type of right and inside the type of run the by loop till all the records are being read. The loop should continue to run. Read the records. From the file using the load function of people module. Clear? Using the load function of people module, read the report from the file using file render F1. And store the records in the variable. Now, item number is zero at index, supplier name one, quantity is two. The index of item number is zero, the index of supplier name is one, the index of quantity is two. Now our condition is we supplier name as a parameter pass here. Just be supplier ka name humne as a parameter pass here. How much quantity has been given by that supplier? We are to return that quantity. Just be supplier ka name as a parameter pass hua hai. उस सप्लायर ने इतनी क्वांटिटी दी है 
how much quantity is available for that supplier we have to return that quantity this is our question so if r equal equal r of 1 equal equal to s what is r of 1 here supplier name ye dekho maine index banayi hui hai i have made the index over here supplier name ka index 1 hai so if r of 1 equal equal s agar given supplier name hamare record ke name se match kar gaya then what you want to do Return the quantity. What is the index of quantity? Am I clear? Online class. Am I clear to all? Why I have done R two? R two signifies quantity. R one signifies supplier name, and R of zero supplier signifies item number. clear open welcome boy and found this one found this one right now here take the except law अगर कोई एक्सेप्शन आईज भी तो इन केस एनी एक्सेप्शन आईजेस इफ बाउंड इक्वल इक्वल टू सिंपल Found zero or not? When found will be zero. When you don't find any relevant record that satisfies your condition, okay? When will be found one? When the relevant condition matches and you get the relevant record, that time found will be one. But if you are not able to locate the relevant record, found will remain zero. Okay, exception arises if a pound remains zero. That means no record exists. No record exists. Otherwise. Or found, um, right? And here you close the link. This is the count R function. This is the coding of count R function. Right? Or may I ask, am I clear? Both the parts are clear. This can come as a study. Okay. Now, अब ये तो हमारे function definition हो. We have to call the function also. So I am going to make at last the main function. First of all, we will be calling add report. सबसे पहले मैंने add report function call किया. Here 
I'm here. Then after that, ask the user and then supplier name. Enter the supplier name. Whichever supplier quantity you want to display, enter his name and pass this as parameter to this function. But one step here, we have to return it. Let me show you. We have to return it. जब ये वैल्यू रिटर्न होकर कॉलिंग फंक्शन में जाएगी वी नीड अ वेरिएबल टू स्टोर इट सो आई एम टेकिंग एक्स आई एम टेकिंग एक्स Quantity return equal to x. Why I have taken x here? Because I am returning value from here. I am returning value from here back to the calling function. फंक्शन डेफिनेशन से जो वैल्यू रिटर्न होके आती है दैट कम्स बैक टू द कॉलिंग फंक्शन वी नीड वन वेरिएबल हियर टू स्टोर द वैल्यू यू कैन टेक एनी वेरिएबल आई हैव टेकन एक्स वेरिएबल ओके द क्वांटिटी रिटर्न हियर विल स्टोर इन वेरिएबल एक्स And this x variable I have. Am I clear to all? Offline and online both. Any doubt? Any doubt? All right. Now, uh, let me discuss some MCQs with you. I'm going to type the uh, write the options on the blackboard. Once. Now, the part is at the year twenty twenty one. CPSC has employee underscore score five. Okay. These are the four options. You are to tell which one is valid and which one is invalid. From the given list of identifiers, pick out the valid and invalid. Yes, online class, raise your hand. Online class, anyone? Raise your hand for the answer. Yes, who will tell the correct answer? You have to pick up the valid and invalid and identify from the, all the four options. 
Yes, anyone want to try? Raise your hand. Am I audible, Udit? Udit Gandhi, am I audible to you? Yeah, you answer now. Unmute yourself, Udit. Good morning, sir. Very good morning. According to which ones are valid? Valid? Yes, valid. A part. What? A consent underscore name. Which option is valid? Get it, please. A part. A part. Any other? Check carefully. Any other? B part also is valid. Identifier can start with underscore. Now, which are invalid? B and C. B and C are invalid. Identifier name cannot have any special symbol or any special character. Okay? Next MCQ is I have a string and the value are S L I C Okay. Print P my P two colon four colon two. Two colon four colon two. And your options are L I S L I L I. Yes, who will answer this question? Online class. This is the list. This is the slice. According to this slice, which option is suitable? B, B, B option. This is the suitable one. Five, zero index, one index, two index, four index, two, uh, five index. Sorry, three, four. Three and four. Starting from two. I. You are 4 till 4 minus 1, 3. But you want to skip 2. Go a step later. So, this step is go a step later. That is 4. 4 is not included. Upper limit is not included. So, we are left with only I. So, B option is suitable one. Am I clear to all online class? So, who needs a little knowledge? All right. 